Well, thanks everyone for joining us today. I'm Rachel Huffman. I work on the marketing team here at Butterfly MX, and with me we have Frank Freehill, who's on the technical solutions team. Just a little bit about what we're going to cover today. Um, we're going to go over our vehicle access control system. We're going to talk about how it works with the rest of the Butterfly MX access platform, um, a little bit about how it's installed, configured, and supported, and then just run through a few frequently asked questions. And I know that many of you online today are new to Butterfly MX, and a few of you have attended our previous live events, but just in case you are, to, or, or if you are new and haven't um, heard about us before, I'll do a quick intro. So Butterfly MX is a complete access control solution typically installed in multi-tenant buildings. Um, in fact, we're currently installed in more than 10,000 multifamily, commercial, student housing, and gated communities across the country. And our products allow property staff and residents to manage access on the go. And we like to use each of these monthly series of live events to dive into our individual products and features of our systems, as well as educate you on the specifics of the products, what problems they solve, and how to install and successfully sell them. Uh, so today, Frank will be discussing an overview of our vehicle access control system. And we encourage you all to ask questions. Just leave those in the chat and we'll get to those at the very end. So Frank, do you wanna take it away? Absolutely. Thanks so much, Rachel. Um, so just for another reintroduction, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Frank Freehill. I'm the Director of Technical Solutions here at Butterfly Max. Um, and we're both really excited to have the opportunity today to speak with you all about our new product, the Butterfly Max Vehicle Reader. And really, you know, and more importantly, how it can improve vehicle access at your client's properties. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Great, thanks. So, you know, to start this off, why our vehicle control system? Uh, to me, I think there's several advantages to using our system that we can walk through here, as you can see. Uh, you know, first, it's convenient. Our system allows completely hands-free access to gates, garages, other vehicle access points, uh, as well as, you know, being affordable. There's no remotes, fobs, or keys required. And in a, just a little bit, we're going to talk more specifically uh, about the pricing. Um, it's also simple. You know, vehicles can approach the entryway, reader scans their windshield tag, and it in instantly opens the gate or the garage. And then lastly, but uh, again, critical, it's integrated. What does that even mean though, right? It means that it connects with other Butterfly Max access control products that your clients are already using. Uh, and for example, most commonly, our video intercom. So, you know, now that we know a little bit more about the advantages and value of our vehicle access control system, we can start to take a little bit of a closer look at the hardware involved. And as we can see here, there are three main components to our vehicle access control system, including the vehicle reader on the left, our access controller on the right, and then finally our windshield tag, which is on the bottom. Uh, so we can take a look at each one by one and we'll start with our vehicle reader. All right, so let's take a look at some of the information here. Again, one of the first things I like to point out is the MSRP and the dealer pricing. So in order to be eligible for dealer pricing, you must become Butterfly MX certified. Uh, we're gonna share some more information at the end of the webinar to get that process started if you're not certified already. Um, but again, speaking a little bit more directly to the vehicle reader, you'll also find some information on our read range, which is currently 20 feet from the windshield tag. Um, it's important to note though, that we are currently working on updates that will increase this read range, depending on the property and what the installation specs call for. Uh, when it comes to our mobile app, however, to unlock the garage, there's no limitations on distance because it's all cloud-based. And then again, before we kind of move on, I think the last thing I'd like to point out specifically on this slide is the mounting specifications. You can see that our reader uses a very common industry standard. This is important because it allows us to be compatible with multiple third-party mounting devices. And the more compatibility that we have, it introduces, again, more flexibility when it comes to the installation to ensure proper mounting. So that's a little bit on the reader. Let's get into the windshield tag. Um, again, like I mentioned before, uh, in terms of how we can bring value, we believe that the tag provides a much more affordable option than clickers or fobs that you might see used in other systems, which as we can see here, MSRP price of $5, dealer price of three. Um, and then finally, just a quick note, all of our tags are secure, ultra high frequency. Uh, they're encrypted, again, to increase the security offerings at your property. Hopefully pretty straightforward. So we can go to the next slide. Awesome. So here's a little bit more information on our two-door access controller. Uh, 
essentially this acts as the brains of the operation in, in the entire process. Uh, in this case, it's the two-door controller that's validating all the credentials that are sent to it by the vehicle reader. Now, I, I could honestly talk about the controller all day. Uh, we really wanna focus on the vehicle reader for now. Uh, however, we, de uh, we did hold a separate webinar uh, around the two-door controller. So if you're looking for information, we have a link there at the bottom that we'll also share with you, where you can find the recording uh, of that webinar on our website. But you know, before we move on, the last thing that I will say about the controller uh, that I think is great is that when it does come to vehicle entry, if a property restricts both entry and exit, you only need one controller because we have both of those sides where a reader can be introduced. It can keep some hardware cost downs and hopefully make the installation that much easier. Let's keep it rolling with some vehicle reader specs. So. Um, when it comes to the installation, how does everything work together? What talks to what? We have a little bit of a breakdown on how it uh, is introduced to operate the gate or the garage door. Uh, as we can see here, vehicle reader reads the tags and sends that data to the access controller. Controller receives that data, triggers a relay that's connected to the garage door controller. And in this case, that is what is physically telling the garage controller to release that gate or that garage door. Uh, you know, before we kind of move on from this brief overview, I think some important things to note on this slide uh, is that our controller utilizes RS-485 technology and OSDP. Uh, again, this is for uh, encryption and a secure setup. Um, and kind of with that, you know, we know a little bit more about the operation, what's wired to what, how are they all working together. We can explore a little bit more the proper installation setup. Love it. So. What do we have here for the reader installation? Uh, as I mentioned before, vehicle reader can read a tag up to 20 feet. Uh, in terms of mounting and best practices, the most efficient reading range of the tag is ideal installation. It has the vehicle reader mounted at anywhere between you know, 40, 45 degree angle, um, and also at a height between eight to eight and a half feet. Now these are for best practices, but let's say wherever it's called to mount uh, might be a little bit higher than that, for example. That's okay. All we need to do in that case is just angle the reader downwards a little bit more to again, get that most efficient read range uh, for the vehicle tags. Next slide. And then speaking of the tags, uh, it must be installed at the top of the windshield. And what we found for best results on the side of the vehicle that's nearest to the vehicle reader. Um, it's also important to ensure that the windshield tag uh, is properly adhered to the glass of the windshield as well. Um, but I think a great part here is that the Butterfly MX team, we already have created great documentation for both property managers and for people like residents as well. And we'll share that with them when it comes to onboarding, which will help them with things like the placement and the installation of the windshield tags. All right, installation, configuration, and support. Let's talk about it. Awesome. So not too much here, but uh, there is some quick information on the installation conditions that we can speak to. Uh, I think, again, important to note is that the reader is IP65 uh, for outdoor use, as well as IK10. So these are designed uh, to be extremely durable for one and are meant to be installed in the outdoors in all types of climates, weathers, you know, Butterfly MX, we are installed in Florida humidity, uh, Chicago winters, we got the dry heat in Arizona. The devices are durable, they're built to last, and they're meant to be installed outdoors. All right, moving on, we can talk about the configuration of the system. Uh, so as we can see here, the vehicle reader is managed through our online dashboard. We call it the Butterfly MX OS, or operating system. Uh, and it's the same as our video intercoms. Why is this great? It allows administrators to view activity logs, program or register the windshield tags, as well as manage access permissions from literally anywhere in the world. Um, you know, in a nutshell, like what I like to say is the vehicle reader integrates seamlessly with what our clients are already used to using, which makes adding the vehicle readers to a property that's already using Butterfly MX products super easy. All right. Time for some FAQs. So um, since we've launched the vehicle reader, we've definitely received uh, a lot of frequently asked questions that we thought would be just valuable to address here. So let's just get into some. 
All right, awesome. Vehicle access control FAQ. So one of the questions that we get a lot, what connectivity methods do we support? So our two-door con access controller can support both a hardwired connection as well as Wi-Fi. Now with really anything that's connected to the internet, we're always going to recommend and prefer a hardwired connection, but we know that in the case of vehicle entry, this is sometimes difficult or costly to introduce. So compatibility with Wi-Fi in these cases can be a great alternative to again, keep installation costs down. Uh, and I touched on this briefly before uh, RS-485 when we were talking about the reader specs. What this means is that we are not currently compatible um, with Wigan and as we only support OSDP uh, communication with our readers and controllers. Can the video intercoms be used as a vehicle access solution? It's a great question, uh, and the answer is absolutely yes. So with an intercom, both residents and visitors can access the gate using some of the many features the video intercom offers, things like swipe to open, uh, you can place a video call through the directory, virtual keys, delivery pins for delivery servicemen, uh, and so, you know, what I think is great is that the vehicle reader and intercom can be used seamlessly together to provide an entire or complete solution at a property. So what does this mean? Tenants or, or users that have a physical uh, credential like that tag can have a really seamless way to get into the building completely hands-free. It's just gonna read that tag. But we can also provide a solution for those that don't have a physical credential. That's where the video intercom uh, is a great solution because it can allow, whether it's the delivery person, a guest, any type of visitor, to be able to call the appropriate person to present a virtual key to again, allow seamless entry to a garage or to a gate. What happens if a windshield tag is taken and placed on a non-resident vehicle? This is one that we get a lot, especially when it comes to the security of a property. The good news, we don't need to worry about this. Uh, our windshield tag is self-destroying, so as soon as you remove that sticker, it's gonna break and it's not gonna be able to be replaced or reinstalled on another car. And again, it's one less worry. It's not like a fob. Uh, if it goes missing, someone picks it up, that will continue to work. However, with our vehicle tag, if you remove it, it's gonna break and there won't be any issues in terms of security in that case. Does the vehicle access platform work with the rest of the Butterfly MX uh, platform? So I know that we've spoken about this earlier, uh, but this definitely comes up a lot and we think it's important to reiterate. Um, the main thing here is that the vehicle reader will integrate seamlessly with our entire suite of hardware and software products, and it can be used and accessed by both administrators as well as users from our online dashboard or our mobile app. Um, Again, I think this is critical because while the controller can be introduced on its own, if there's a property that wants to either add more hardware to a vehicle setup, or they might be using Butterfly MX at other places of their building, we can put those together under the single Butterfly MX operating system so that everything can be managed in one very straightforward place, which I think is a great advantage to both property managers, but then also the end users as well, because they can all access all the different hardware from one app. I think that's the end of the FAQs, it is, all right. So I know I just spoke uh, quite a bit through a lot of information out there. Um, I, we should have some time for questions though, Rachel. Did we get any in the chat while I was speaking? We yeah, we've actually got awesome. a few. So I think we should just go ahead and dive into them. Uh, the first question we got submitted is, what happens if a resident doesn't have a tag? What happens if a resident doesn't have a tag? It's a good question. Um, so I think the main answer here was that because Butterfly MX is a cloud-based system, if the resident doesn't have a physical tag, maybe it's been installed, but tags haven't been sent out yet for any reason, they'll still be able to use our mobile app, uh, specifically the swipe to open feature that's gonna unlock the door. So even if they do have a tag, they still will always have that option. Um, that again can be convenient for them if they're more used to using a phone or maybe their Apple CarPlay, for example, This uh, the mobile app is always gonna work. So I think that would be probably the best option if a resident doesn't physically have a tag in their car. Awesome. The next question we got is how does visitor access work? Okay, this is, I get this. Um, <laughs> so I think this is where the video intercom comes into play. Uh, 
you know, I, I think whoever asked this question is absolutely right. When we're talking about uh, windshield tags and, and readers, it is uh, just inherently more tenant-based because they will have that physical credential. Um, but again, if we have the video intercom that works seamlessly side by side, our vehicle reader, that's what's really going to have, um, you know, the, the best environment to be able to allow visitor access. They're going to be able to use, um, like I mentioned before, virtual keys. If you know that visitor is coming, they'll always be able to call from the directory. Um, and so there's multiple different ways that visitors are going to be able to access the property, even if they don't have a you know, windshield tag. And so really that's where the video intercom would come in. It's great for allowing both visitors as well as deliveries to gain access to properties. Awesome. Next question is, does the vehicle system integrate with property management systems? Does the vehicle system integrate with property management systems? Got it. Um, yes, it does. Super easy. Um, so while it's not necessarily the reader that is going to integrate with um, the property management service or system, uh, in this case, it's the Butterfly MX software. So I mentioned it's a cloud-based system. All of the hardware is going to be managed through one database, uh, which is the Butterfly MX OS. However, we do have integrations with a lot of the top names um, in PMS. Ones that come to mind are Yardy and, and RealPage, just to name two of quite a lot. Um, but why this is an advantage and can bring value to properties is that instead of needing to manage, you know, the Butterfly MX database and maybe your Yardi database, they will sync, I think it's multiple times a day for any changes. And that's going to get pushed automatically to all of the Butterfly MX hardware. Um, so again, we can now, instead of needing to manage multiple uh, different databases, all those integrations allow property managers or administrators just to go to one-stop shop and they can take care of everything from one place. Awesome. I think we have time for just one more question. Uh, this last right. one is, can Butterfly MX control vehicle exiting too? Yes. Can we control ex like in and out? Okay. Um, answer, absolutely, we can. I think what's important to note in this case, though, for a setup where we need to provide both the entry and the exit is that that's going to require two readers, one for each. Uh, but I might have mentioned it before, with our controller, both of those separate readers can be installed back to the same controller because there's two sides to it. And again, that's going to allow you know less hardware to need to be installed. Uh, hopefully a little bit easier of an installation. So at the end of the day, the answer is absolutely yes, we can. You'll just need to have a reader for each of, you know, one for the entrance and then one for the exit. Awesome. Well, I am afraid we're out of time. Um, but again, thank you all for attending and have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Rachel.